Do you practice what you preach? Do you mean what you say? Do you do what you say? These are some of the key themes that Jesus addresses in his Sermon on the Mount. And we're in Matthew chapter 5, verses 33 to 37 uh, on Holy Habitus today, where Jesus says the following. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but keep the oaths you have made to the Lord. But I tell you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. Simply let your yes be yes, and your no, no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. This is a profound and uh, interesting teaching which has all sorts of application for our speech and practice today as disciples of Jesus. The context of course is a problem that Jesus was challenging. The Pharisees had got themselves into a theological legalistic mess as they tried to discern which oaths were binding and which were not. And if you read Matthew 23 verses 16 following you'll find out Jesus talking about this. The Pharisees would say for example that if you made an oath by the temple then that was not binding but if you made an oath by the gold in the temple well yes that was and Jesus says oh that's rubbish just do away with all that nonsense because all you're doing there is creating room for evil for falsehood you're creating a playground for the devil you're creating slippage between words and reality rather your words should match up to reality and your reality should match up to your words we need to be people who are truthful because if we're not in tune with reality then we can't grow and if we're not truthful and honest and have integrity then people are not going to believe us when we present to them the gospel of truth. We need to embody that truthfulness. We need to let our yes be yes and our no, no. When we make commitments we need to keep those commitments. When we say we're going to do something we need to follow through with that. I was thinking about this recently. Um, a small example of how that slippage occurs. Sometimes I, I run late for things. I, I have a, a penchant for being late. And, and as I'm running late, I'll often be rehearsing the excuses I'm going to be giving. You know, I run into somebody or, I, uh, or, or I, the traffic was bad. And those things might, in one sense, be true. But if I'm consistently late, then actually that's not the real reason. And, and those excuses are a falsehood, really. And it made me realise that actually untruthfulness slips into our language in all sorts of ways. Perhaps this week we could go through our speech with a fine tooth comb and identify those places where we've lost integrity.